Hi, I'm Rafa, and if you're new to the channel, welcome. Today, I'll be talking about the Notion setup that got me through college. I guess just to give some context on who I am, I'm a fresh graduate from Ateneo de Manila University, and I took up information design, and I finished with Latin Honors. And I'm also a creative freelancer based here in Metro Manila, and I started freelancing in 2017. I do photography. Videography, video editing. For college, I was also um, an active org member in Ateneo. Yeah, I was also a student leader along with 12 other people in one of the orgs there. So. I guess that's some context about who I am and on my whole setup and why it looks like this. Because a lot of the things I'm going to be showing are based on those things that I just said. I'm a student, freelancer, and was a student leader. So let's begin. This is my landing page in Notion. I think it's fairly simple. A lot of the things here are just really the essentials. I feel like if I add a lot of unnecessary images and make it look nice, it's going to be more distracting. It doesn't work for me. So at the very top, we just have the cover photo of a field of something. I just got that from Unsplash. The name of the landing page is Homebase. And under that, we just have a quote which says, The score takes care of itself. I think it's just a good reminder overall. So in this landing page, there's three major sections or divisions. The first division is really this portion here, which has the, my personal work, school, CADs, and current subject pages. Under that, we have a manual weekly to-do list. Oh, I actually haven't updated this, so let me update it now. And then under the weekly to-do list, there is uh, a bunch of calendars. So overall, there was like one, two, um, I had seven calendars that I had to keep track of on the daily when I was still in Ateneo. That's interesting. So I'll go through each major division one by one. Um, the first division that I mentioned earlier were the five columns. I guess these five columns are how I view the most important aspects of my life. So there's the personal aspect, the work, school, CADs, which is my org, and then the current subjects that I took or was taking at that time. And then under each column, there's just it's relevant pages underneath. And I'll probably go through some of the pages under each column later on. But yeah, I feel like it's just a bit easier to see if it's all laid out like this. If you notice, I also color-coded each aspect in a certain way and it'll kind of make sense later on. Okay, so moving on to the second division, which is the manual to-do list. The tasks that I put here in this manual to-do list are easy to do. So sometimes I can also put here very complex tasks, which I just remember on the spot and eventually move them later on to the calendar. So the reason I color-coded the titles of those names are because I, in my to-do list, it's all kind of the same, the same color as these column headings. So the person is also red, which links to this red color here. So that's the same for client work, also green. This is kind of how I take note of the things that I have to do. For personal work, for example, I have to clean my keyboard, something like that. So the difference between this shaded portion here and then the title is for these shaded portions, this is what I use to identify different projects from one another. So for example, I have here project one, and then I have a task to do like email, but then I have another client or another project, which I'm taking at the same time. And I want to know my to do for that one. I just make another colored block and then I put there the name of the project and then the to do under that. So edit video. I use the colored blocks to differentiate each project from one another because there are tasks that I have to do but then they kind of fall in different projects so I feel like it's just better to differentiate it visually so when I see it I know where the tasks fall under so these were the subjects I was taking before and I just made um, a colored block for each subject and then I can just really add on to do's accordingly right okay so after the to do's under that 
there's the working time templates. This is really mainly how I get my stuff done. I call it working times. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. But it's essentially the time which I set to work on a specific thing. So I was taking four subjects in total. So I just set a page. And when I drag that onto my calendar, let's say I move this onto my due date. And under these working times, I just set the time for which I want to work. For example, I want to do it from 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. My mind's kind of already set to doing things specifically for this subject. So if you don't already know, you can customize the calendar view depending on what kind of date it is. So I personally use calendar to divide my tasks into do and due date. So over here, the first calendar is the due dates and second are the due dates. And then beside that, uh, we have a linked database of that calendar, um, but in a table view, which shows the deadlines and events. And then under that, we have an event date, uh, which is another date view in my calendar. I rarely use this one. Under the personal calendars, we have the CADS calendars. So CADS was the main org that I was also a student leader in which stands for Company of Ateneo Dancers, just in case you didn't know. Um, but anyways, in CADS, since I was one of the officers there, I had to keep track of a lot of dates also. So I just have two here side by side and another below. And then we have for the executive board, we just have the shared calendar, which I also linked to my landing page. This is my calendar. Um, so this was specifically for the month of May just to kind of give you an idea of things that I was going through every day. You can see the concept of working time over here. So for example, on uh, May 29, I have here FA 104 working time. From 2.45 to 4.30 p.m., I did all of this. So I like to use the same emoji for the same subjects just because it's easier to identify what I'm doing. So it's all the same. Yeah, this is usually what my months would look like. So it's very busy. Um, since I have freelance work, an org, and then four subjects that I was taking. So I go through modules usually in bulk during these working times. So I'd, I'd set like two to three hours um, for each subject. So now I'm going to go through some other pages. Under work, uh, this is one of the things that I just developed recently. It's my commission work log. Since I'm a freelancer, I'd like to take note of all of the projects that I've done for this table. We just have a bunch of details in each project. The duration of the engagement, which is how long I work with a client. The total number of days that I was working on it. What year it fell under. If I've archived it. If the client paid. When they paid. The amount that they paid. The name of the project. How I acquired it. If it was through personal connection. FDP, which is my freelance business. Or it was, if it was a referral. And then if it was a referral, um, who it was referred by, contact person, and then other details that I just wanted to see. Before I fully transitioned and before we went to a fully online school, I mostly just used Notion for notes. Yeah, so these were just some of the notes that I was taking for each subject. And then we just have what year I took them and what semester it was. And the rating here is just kind of if I like the subject or not. Um, I'm not really sure what that's for, but I just put it in case. Probably the last thing I can share is the current subjects. Usually, I take three to four subjects and each subject would be in here. I'll bring my last four subjects out. On this current subjects column, I just made a template for the course master file. So each time I have a new course or a new subject to take, I just add a new template. So I made this template from scratch. It's something that works for me. I just realized that this is the kind of system that works best for my kind of learning. So in this course template, we just have all of the essential things that I think I need. And these are all linked databases of the life calendar in my landing page. So in all of my subjects, I just link that calendar in and then just fill in and filter it out depending on the subject just so I can see it all in one database. Generally, you just have the important files for a subject, for, for example, syllabus and other files on the course needs. Before any subject, I just go through the syllabus and just put any important information, a dump, 
for that subject. So if I have any ideas or some questions that I need to ask the prof, put them here and then eventually just ask them. And then I remember column. So when the lecture is or synchronous sessions, I put them here. Consultation hours, the email of the professor. And we also have a quick access column. So I just link the Google Drive for the course, which I make on my own Google Drive, the link to Canvas, modules, and announcements. So I just link them all here. I think I can show one, uh, probably my thesis one. But this is generally what each course page would look like. Um, so kind of the same structure as my landing page. We have the columns here. Um, we have a table here of all of the modules. And then under that, we have the due date. In the due date. So once the quarter or semester was done, I just drag all of these pages, these current subjects onto the archive. These were all the subjects I took for senior year. So yeah, that's the Notion setup that got me through college as an honor student, creative freelancer, and a student leader. Nothing more to say. Thanks for watching.